To understand why we need to triangulate a polygon model, let us look at this example. The polygon edges divide the plane into columns and rows. Converting the plane into triangles reveals a new set of edges. These edges of the plane represent axes that can be used for bending in the animation. This polygon head has similar quadratic divisions as the polygon plane. We see the edges of the model flow in the general directions of human muscle tissue. Animating the opening and closing of the mouth shows us the deformation of the polygons. Let us look at what the rendering engine sees. The conversion of the model to triangles reveals hidden edges used by the rendering engine. These edges do not seem to follow the flexing of the original muscles and this can lead to animation problems. When animating the rendering of the mouth, we see the edges move. This is the result of the rendering engine trying to optimize the animation. This leads to visual errors and anomalies. By converting the model manually into triangles and adjusting the directions of the edges, we get this result. We can see now that most of the edges follow in the direction of the human muscle tissues. This conversion and the ensuing correction gives the animator a better understanding of how and where the model will deform. The animation of the model presents itself as much more organic. We see a better general deformation that conforms to the muscle tissues. I hope this example helps in understanding why we should convert polygon models into triangles. Thank you.